Um, it's weird me being at the end, but uh, I asked you guys on Instagram for questions to ask all, to ask my guy mates. So here are my guy mates, Ben, Femi, Michael. You've definitely seen, actually they've seen all of you guys before, just in different videos. So in a vlog and then Michael in a few older videos doing my makeup. Yeah. So yes, so today we're going to be asking the guys questions. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Ready. Yeah, ready. Ready. Come on. ready. Right, so, um, okay, I can't use that word, but it's, the question is, why do you N, why do you, the N word? N for November. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, why do you N for November have F boy tendencies? I can't say that word either on camera. Um, I feel you can think before uh, you answer. Sometimes like society kind of um, kind of um, makes make, gives you this image that masculinity is about conquering women at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because of that, there's this pursuit to get as many women as possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think um, sometimes on the flip side with women, um, some women or they desire love. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and affection. So, Some women do just want sex, though. Yeah. So sure, yeah. I didn't want to say that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to get just in the <laughs> So I thought when those two worlds collide, right, it is what it is. Because if that's what you want, I want, and then after, yeah, and because um, you know how you see jokes in mine after I slept with her, like I don't let her sleep. I put her in a Uber. I had to order her. No, but Uber. that is a real thing. Yeah. So that's why at the end of the day, you knew what it was. Mm. You you came for the sex, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, get yeah, temporary yeah. accommodation. It's like you can't <laughs> get both. So I think <laughs> that's why. Also, again, I guess it's down to where you meet the guys and how sometimes how you carry yourself. Mm. I think as men, the three of us, we can say like you've probably seen a girl. You're like, she's out of my league still. Do so boys see that? Yeah, it's a fact. Mm. I was mm. talking to my friend about this the other. Okay, so boys actually. I mean, I think yeah, I think most do. Some guys. Oh really? I have, I have friends that are just yeah. like. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but other times they'll be. Mm, so is this, is this why guys stare? Because this is something I wanted to ask. Why guys just. They just stare. And they don't approach, they just. Yeah, maybe. I think it's, maybe. It's it not shy, she might not. But she's nice. But I wanted to know that she's noticing me or that I'm noticing her. Right. Mm -hmm, not necessarily. Fair. Like, just better overthinking. Because like, yeah. you've always got those guys at the back of the road who are just. Just stare. Just stare. Food in the water, testing it. Yeah. Because like you don't want to go over there, and then you reject me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like yeah, so I, I need practice. to make sure yeah. that I'm reading you correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And I need to make sure that no guy has come over there recently because that might be your man. Yeah. I'm not sure oh, I never even really think thought that. Okay, yeah. okay. So they got. Uh, I'm assuming that's probably what they would be doing trying to case out. Oh, that's really creepy. I just feel like this whole staring thing. Then no one's gonna have kids. Like it just like if, if everyone just stares. In terms of like. Why do you think guys are F boys? My question is answered. Do you agree or do you feel like it's not so much society or, or it's just like individual choices that guys make? Do you know what I think it is as well? It's like, it depends how you're raised as well. Okay. If you're raised in a family where you can see your father looks after your mother, mm. it's very rare for you to then carry that and then completely obliterate that. Mm -hmm. And, and start mistreating women. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very rare. So I'd say a lot of it does apply with the upbringing. So. That's it. And I think as well it's reinforced by our friendship groups as well sometimes. Mm -hmm. like, like, as Michael was saying, like, in terms of you get bigged up by oh, the boys. Oh, like, really? Yeah, with certain mm -hmm. things. Like, if oh, you, this is fascinating. Do you know what I mean? If you secure like a certain girl and you have those conversations in mm -hmm. the group chat, like, guys, you get, do you know what I mean? It's that kind of um, reinforce that bravado and all that kind of thing. So okay. that's true, actually. You don't get called out mm -hmm. by. Yeah, there's by, no like accountability. Your, yeah, like you don't get called out by your guy, guy, guy friends. So I mean, you might. You, obviously, I can't speak for everyone, but yeah, you, might, you don't get called out. So okay, if everyone in the group is is, is an F boy, yeah, like we're all in. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. even if you do something wrong to her or you mistreat her, you'll just play off as oh no, she'll just be a long kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. And then you just kind of you know, do you see what I'm saying? So it's like there's no accountability. There's no like. You don't have anyone around you that's really calling you out when yeah. you're doing things wrong. No, you're right, you know, friendship circle is really important. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in a club with some peeps and I saw a married guy like talking to a girl. I put on like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. wow. Don't 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 do that. What are you doing? Like probably like and he's like, oh but it's like for me, 
I, I, I don't play that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, whether it's girlfriend or wife or whatever, fiance is nah. Mm. I don't play that. Mm. But there's certain friends, because I wasn't the only friend with them, there's certain friends didn't say anything or do on the same way. Yeah. Mm. So you're right, friendship circle, because. I might mention Ben, you're going to be saying, how many girls you got this week? And Ben's like, oh, none, and I'm making just of them. Yeah. Then now Ben's thinking, oh, I need to catch up. But then that goes exactly exactly back to what you said about society enforcing, like, the the value of a man is about how much he can con- how many women he can conquer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aside from, like, the money thing, because that capitalist thing is very real in terms of, like, masculine. Like, I, don't, I don't know how you guys feel, but, like, I feel like we're, we're raised to believe that a man makes good money and he gets women i think those are like it's negative obviously yeah. okay so the next question is do you believe romantic love is beneficial to women hmm. i don't know if i understand that question me neither is beneficial to women is romantic maybe she means beneficial to men is that romantic. would make more sense is it romance if, let's say romance let's replace romance with affection yeah i don't uh, if you, if I don't know place, if those things are the same, are they? Well, what is romance then? I guess it is it's showing so affection. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you yeah. replace romance with affection, is affection beneficial for women? Yes. Beneficial for men? Yes. It plays in different ways. Mm. So, um, my affection to you, using a stereotype, buy you flowers, buy you gifts, um, words of affirmation. So, essentially, love languages. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, That's if awesome. you just replace affection with language, like, love languages and how your partner likes to receive it, then. Yeah, if I, if we're interpreting the question correctly, yeah, I, I then feel I like I genuinely feel different. like she meant men right. because that to me makes more sense. I don't know about you guys, but it make it because I think it, exactly like what we were saying about the whole like money and women. I think some women feel like, oh, is there any room in men's hearts for actually like ro- like they want to receive yeah. romance? Do you yeah. know what I mean? So I think that's what she was yeah. going for. She may have the mentality around it as well because I think. It's like when, um, like, some like, like uh, buying a guy flowers. Oh, yeah, did you see that on Twitter? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, people what? are just like that women should do it more, and I was like, do you know yeah. what? It depends if, if he if that's part of his love language, mm-hmm. yeah. but I think it should be a why should it only be women? It's, it's yeah, it's synonymous with women and you mm-hmm. know, with affection towards women, so like, there's a ment- the mentality around it is like, guys, we don't. Why are you buying me flowers? Like, well, why am yeah. I doing flowers? But at the same time, what about a gift? Yeah, like, so a gift is a gift is better. But I think it's just I guess it's flowers are more like synonymous with yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's just the mentality around it. Like it's and then it could be seen as emasculating and like not a diluted masculinity because you know you're being soft and like all that. Mm-hmm. You see, what I'm saying that like, that kind of thing. So I think it's just the mentality around it. Really. But it's definitely beneficial, like, if, yeah. a, if your girl does something really nice and romantic for you. Yeah, every, every person has a love yeah. I tried that test thing, it didn't work for me. It said, all, it said all, it said they want my love language. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the I think one thing people don't understand is that we, all, we, we require all five. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, your primary and second. Okay, okay. Everyone okay. needs, well, everyone, uh, stereotyping a general human, you all need like words of affirmation, mm-hmm, physical mm-hmm. touch, yeah, gifts, yeah, yeah, quality yeah, yeah. time, and act of service. We all need that in one form or the other. Yeah. But there might be one more or two more that you require above the others. And you yeah. can probably do without maybe gifts, but you need to be affirmed every morning or every so often. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think um, going back to is romance beneficial to men? 100%. Because, for example, if a girl doesn't, let's say your love language is physical touch. If a girl doesn't ever try to lean up to hug you or rest on your shoulder or just be yeah, affectionate exactly. and that's your vibe, that's you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, and then you know, some men don't have the some men don't have the vocabulary to, vocabulary and the self awareness to articulate those emotions or realise they're feeling that yeah. emotion. Mm-hmm. They're just like, Oh, I feel starved but they don't know what they're yeah, looking yeah. for because no one's ever taught them like you guys, this is why they're all my friends, are all very self aware guys. But some men don't I'm sure you come into contact with men like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, if you aren't even, they can't express what they, and for them, it's like sex is the only way to express like physical touch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, quite, it's quite difficult actually, yeah. I mean, I think that's why I said it kind of goes back to the upbringing. If you haven't really been taught 
how to express your feelings mm -hmm. if you don't know your love languages, for instance. Mm -hmm. like a lot of guys probably don't know it. They probably don't know that there's a test you can do online. Mm -hmm. I think it's about, what, 44 questions or something like that mm -hmm. asks you. Mm -hmm. And then if they don't know that breakdown, then it means that when it now comes to the girl trying to please the guy, you're going to struggle because, mm -hmm. you know, oh, his love language could be gifts, but then you want to buy him, you know, like roses. You're like, no, this is not, this is not, not a tangible gift. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then if his love language is words of affirmation, but then you want to keep touching him, it's not gonna work. He mm. wants to be affirmed. Mm. He doesn't want to hug. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, but so. I, I think, as you said, it goes back to like how he's seen men in the home treat women, and yeah. I think also how he processes emotions. Because if you don't process them, you wouldn't even know what you need. Do you know what I mean? Because it's yeah. like, how would you know what you need if you don't have the language to express it? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Emotional maturity. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, um, next question. How do you know if a guy likes you? That's the, the, actually, the question is two questions, but it's broken into two parts. So, first of it is... How do I know if a guy likes you? <laughs> <laughs> no, she means as if for her. Oh, okay. So, how do you know if a guy likes you as a girl? And how long does it take for him to make it known? It's, that's, it's too very well, okay, how about you go for the first one of like the some sure sure signs that you've generally seen a lot about um like your guy friends like liking a girl, like just like things that is common between most guys. The need for constant communication. Really? Yeah. Like wanting to wanting uh, to speak to them. Okay. Because I just feel like that's annoying because a lot of guys, like, when they're on a girl, they'll be t talking to her all the time and mm -hmm. then, like, afterwards, like, maybe if he's met someone else, like, literally the week after, the conversation just... Why are you smiling? Like, you no, just... no, 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 no. <laughs> what you're saying is... What you're saying is... What you're saying just affirms and confirms what Ben said. Yeah, yeah, no, it so, does, it does. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, he was yeah, constantly yeah. talking to a particular person, stuff didn't click. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why communication stops. Yeah, 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 yeah. talking to the other person. Um, so yeah, I think the need for communication would be one. Mm -hmm. um, wanting to meet up, mm -hmm. I guess, would mm -hmm. be one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also taking genuine interest in mm -hmm. what you do and remembering well, I think things. He says wanting to meet up because a lot of guys do this WhatsApp, com WhatsApp pen pal relationship thing. <laughs> you don't heard of this pen pal. Um, but it, it could be two things. <laughs> the, WhatsApp, right? the relationship is literally in WhatsApp. Is that his money isn't up? Okay. Or he doesn't, or he feels your friendship between a pair of you isn't at a stage where you might want to spend a day or a few hours with him. Oh, so right. Like he's trying to build it, build it until he can tell, like, so you might... But we're in our, we're in our like, late 20s now, eh? But the thing is, building. let's say, for example, you prematurely it says, I want to take you on a date prematurely. Mm -hmm. I just met you, like, two conversations ago. <laughs> so you have to wrap up the air miles to okay. get there and he's like, cool. So how long is cool. too long to be in a WhatsApp, WhatsApp relationship? <laughs> it depends if you could argue that. If the girl's feeling you a week after, the listen, days after, listen, that's what I think. She'll, she'll uh, but, but, girls, no. but some girls are allowed to make their shot known. So even though we're on conversation, okay. if it's like, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> that, right. What so, are you doing? Not Nothing, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so he, yeah. isn't, he doesn't yes. know if you're feeling the wave or not. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. he's thinking, I don't want to be a fool. Yeah. I, I like you, I think I like you. Mm. Um, I like what I've seen. Let me see if I like your personality and how you communicate. Mm. So you're still trying to feel you. Some men are slow, they don't really know, some are really shy. Mm. I think we have to acknowledge men can be shy. Mm. You know? Definitely. Not everyone is very like um, extrovert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An extrovert. Some I am an ambivert, introvert and an extrovert at the same time, mm -hmm. you know. But some people they, they have to get the confidence. Okay. They might you know someone like Ben, you know, like built, tall, whatever, good looking guy, and then assume that He's, you know, he's forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He could be a shy type of guy, but mm. only comfortable in his friendship circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to. That's what's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Okay, so uh, the second part of the question was how long does it? Oh, okay. You can't answer that. Yeah. So it, just, it depends on the type of guy. But so, so do you feel like if? Because you mentioned that. It, if a guy hasn't read that she's on it, so do, are you? How do you feel about the whole like girls asking guys on dates first? If 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 there's this thing of ambiguity, of, okay, he's not getting it. Mm. Maybe I should just. How would you guys feel if a girl asked that? I, I mean, it's I, a, I don't like it. 
Oh, you don't? Yeah, it's, 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 it's happened before, you yeah. said? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did? How, how did you react? Did you I was like, bro, Like, oh, I think cool. it took it by surprise. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah, like yeah. I necessarily didn't like it, but it just mm-hmm. took it by surprise. Like, okay, so you're not on it? No, I'm not on it. I said, no, let me ask. What's your reason? Um, because if you have to ask, that mm. means that I didn't pay attention in the first place. Okay. So most likely, if you have to ask, it means that I'm going to say no automatically. It's just not my thing. What? You're going to say no? Yeah. Even if you like it? No, no, no. Oh, no. If I like her, then yeah. Okay, so but this, this but, is like initial set. Okay. I think from experience, it's usually the girls that ask me out, the girls that I don't like, or the girls that I was never attracted to in the first place. That's okay, because so you feel like it, it, it shouldn't have taken so long for yeah. her to make her move. Like, if you were on her, you would have asked her first. I, I get what you're saying. So I, get, I get that. If I haven't approached you, I'm not interested. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're approaching me, it means I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Get yeah. What you're I feel like then, but um, obviously, well, not obviously, I'm in a relationship. So prior to being in a relationship, when women would, women would approach me and say, I like you, mm. I would say, I would actually kind of commend them. Because mm. I thought it's a big thing for a woman mm. that should tell a man mm. in this day and age that I like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd always be gracious with them. Yeah. I don't have to see you, but I don't like shutting down or negate that. So mm. Okay, so next question. Why why do you guys hardly ever make the first move? Part of me feels like we've kind of already touched on that, but go ahead anyway. If two what, what, it's one support, man. Sorry. Like, <laughs> me, I'm getting old. It's, anyway. it's, one, it's one of two reasons. Oh, one, you probably doesn't like you. So he hasn't made the first move. Okay. Oh wait, but you talked about this about the staring thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe it's overthinking as well. Okay. So yeah. it could be that. And he's trying to he's trying to fool you out. He doesn't right. know if you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. If you're the type of girl that'll be open to a conversation. Just ask me now. No. What's all these? Like, like, you're you're looking looking at, looking at, looking at. No one ever wants to make a scene, especially if you're born women. If I come over to talk to you, like, get off me. <laughs> 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 That's embarrassing. You guys see that Mo the comedian, uh, Mo's um, skit yeah. about like. When you want to like whine on a girl, and oh, yeah, they, that was the yeah. first time I've never ever cared about you guys' feelings. I'm not gonna lie, but that was the first time I was like, ah, like that's it's it's, it's hard, yeah. it's, it's hard, yeah. Especially, yeah. When, especially when men are recording. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's 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 it. Like, you see, when you see these people, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's mad. It's it's wow, it's yeah, because I'm, I'm rude to guys all the time. All the time. Do you enjoy it? Do you get kicked out? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You have, you're the reason women are single. <laughs> you shut down a good potential of men, and they're like, you know what, funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's like last girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, like I think for me, it's all about the delivery. It's all, it's all about how you come across, and like, actually, no. Sometimes it's like if you're not, if, if I'm not feeling you, fish with me. Yeah. Like, but I won't be rude. I feel like guys don't even need to have game these days, man. As long as they, they're attractive. And then I was thinking about this. That, that, no, that is the game. Yeah, no, that is actually game. that's not the game. Mm-hmm. Someone asked me if I had game the other day, and I was like, I, I don't ever remember having to See, do. Do women, do women need to have game? Nah. Okay. Just then, look good, right? Yeah, that is the game. I don't have game when the guy's hot. I'll say that when the guy. You're I probably doing the right, tunnel. Like my yeah. do my like stuttering, stuttering, like uh, like. But yeah. some are like <laughs> cute though. But they know that if you're stuttering, you oh, then it's, okay. yeah, it means yeah, I know yeah, 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 yeah. this goes back to this yeah. goes back to the whole thing about like her being attractive though, because I feel like it's only girls who are attractive who who are shy that can can be perceived as cute. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. I mean, do you yeah, see what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like if you didn't find her attractive, you'd be like, yeah, like, yeah, but that. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Also, like I know looks play a part. But um, I think it's sapiosexual or whatever. People mm-hmm. that are like, attracted yeah, yeah, to attracted the mind. To, yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you're that type of person, a man that's a, or a woman that's attracted to the mind, mm-hmm. you can hear a woman or man speak maybe like on a YouTube channel. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah that does happen. That does and happen. It's like, OMG, his or her drive or his or her knowledge is so attractive. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then now, that's because and, and like, that's now your game. Yeah. That is, is true. The thing is, game is relative because, for example, my game might be flossing. So if I pull out, yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. Bentley key. Okay. That mean that's that's <laughs> what's attractive to you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, the game. Yeah. But if my game is knowledge, and I haven't been trying to speak game to you, but I've just said something quite intellectual. That's it. You've got my attention. Oh my god, who's yeah. okay, okay. So I feel game can be relative yeah. because. So do you try, feel like his game affects like when he makes the move? Because like she's asking how like how long or why does it take guys so long to make his move so if you feel like it's because he feels like he doesn't have game or he's just not interested like Femi was saying before or it's a variety 
Could be a variety. Could be laziness yeah. as well. We've really been selfish during the guys are so simple and you guys are actually quite complex. Maybe he's got like a maybe he's got like a backlog of women he's got to conquer. So it's like I don't even need you on the, on the list yet. So let me just come back when wow. in the space in the list. But he's not lying though. But like like mm. there are some guys who are like that. Mm. Especially when it comes to online dating, I think it's a thing of like oh, I might come back oh, to that. Apps and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think I think the apps, Tinder, here in general and stuff has mm. made it like this a conveyor belt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.